Hi, welcome along to a little video. We're going to have a proper look now at what's going on in the circuit. Uh, I'm assuming you've already watched the video so you understand um, the basic quantities involved. This is just to kind of help us visualize what's going on and, and try and make sense of what's going on in circuit. So we're looking ahead really for two things here when we actually start to study circuits in more detail. Um, and when we do that, you'll need to really understand the rules of the circuit so you can use it in problem solving. It's also very important that you understand the vault for the work that we're going to be moving on to next in terms of the um, the quantum stuff. So what are you seeing in front of you? Well, we've got a battery. That's the source of energy for the circuit. We've got some blue blobs moving around. They represent the charge. And we've got two bulbs. And those bulbs are in series because all the electricity goes through one uh, and then goes through the other one. So let's take these quantities in turn. Well, if we look at those blue blobs which represent the charge, you can see if you just follow one of those blobs round, that they're just going on a journey. They disappear momentarily in the bulb as they go kind of go up through the base of the bulb. But we're not gaining or losing them. It's a conserved quantity. Um, and all the circuit is doing is moving it around. It's not kind of making electricity. It's, it, it moves electricity. And if we take the ammeter, you can see we've got a certain amount of current, um, 0.9 amps. And it doesn't matter where I measure the current. I always get 0.9 amps because the current is constant at all points in the circuit. And that's hopefully something that you met at GCSE. I think it's important to understand it as a rule, not just remember in series circuits, the current is the same all the way around. But once you understood that there's a physical substance moving around the circuit, it might you you would realize it, it has to be that way around it can't be any other way around it, the current must be the same everywhere now if i look at these two bulbs and it's actually easier if i separate these bulbs by a bit this is a great tool by the way it's just free on the internet it, a website called fet p h e t and at some point we'll get you to have a look at that and um ha have a play around with it but something strange is going on here isn't it because we've got one bulb blowing glowing very brightly and the other one's not that bright at all which is weird because exactly the same electricity is going through both of them so what's the what's the thing that's different and and probably if you even if you're just good at anticipating human nature what's going on here is something to do with voltage you know i kind of rig this circuit to make a point so i've set the battery to a slightly unrealistic 99 volts what that means is that each coulomb of charge is being given 99 joules of energy so if you can imagine each one of those blobs um, i might draw this out for you sometime it's like a little lorry and the battery mounds in 99 joules of energy and the lorry goes on trundling around the circuit delivers all 99 joules of energy uh, out elsewhere in the circuit and then it returns to the battery and uh the lorry is empty at this point it's given up all its energy and, and it's and it's given more energy by the um, battery and it goes round again so now let's have a closer look at the voltage for the two um two individual bulbs and you can see the lower voltage bulb um sorry the less bright bulb has less voltage well that's what we expect isn't it because what we're saying is that when a coulomb of charge goes through that um bulb it gives out nine joules of energy let's compare that to this one here it gives out 90 joules of energy so the reason why this bulb on the right is brighter is because it's giving out 90 joules of energy each time a coulomb goes through whereas the other bulb is only giving out nine joules how why why are they different well in the software i've told it that actually to make this bulb the right hand bulb the brighter bulb has got a higher resistance hence needing more voltage or more push to get the um get the electricity to flow through the circuit um, takeaways from this uh, current is a conserved quantity it's the same all around the circuit um, but that crucially that new new quantity voltage is the amount of energy supplied to each coulomb by the battery or the amount of energy it transfers out of the circuit as it goes through an, a component.